First tonight, in a time of uncertainty, the smallest pieces of normalcy can mean so much. That's the idea behind a simple coffee mug handcrafted in Westbrook. Yeah, the pottery wheel is Kristen Camp's sense of normal and where she stumbled into an idea to support those on the front lines. Okay. Kristen Camp has been working with clay since college. She finds her peace behind this wheel. Yeah, there was this, like, I feel like it was like two months where everybody was just like really nervous to go out anywhere. So I feel like I, I was at home a lot. This building was completely vacant. So I did come in and I was able to work by myself here in the space and feel safe doing it. Which led to her business Campfire Pottery. Cups, candles, plant holders, designs she sells in her shop in Portland. We first met Camp in 2019, showing us one of her more dramatic techniques. This is real deal. <sighs> it's intense. <laughs> a lot has changed in a year. We shut the shop down in March, and it's just been like a wild ride of trying to, you know, adjust to selling everything online and shipping, and then, um, you know, with our employees, like how, how do we make sure they're taken care of? Camp and her husband immediately switched gears, working from home and focusing their sales online. But she wanted to do more. You know, as a small business, we were like, what do we have? What resource do we have to like be able to give back? And so, you know, we decided like we were going to do the stay at home mug project for the people who are home quarantining. The stay at home project is a mystery mug. You pick a color, Camp picks the design and mails it to you. I was watching everyone's stories on Instagram and I feel like people were trying to like find like little pieces of joy throughout their day, you know, and, and, and because it was such a hard, just like, you know, uncertain time. So I feel like I, you know, people trying to enjoy their morning routines differently. For every five mugs sold, Camp sends a free to go mug to a healthcare worker, a small token of appreciation for the work they've been doing. How does she find a healthcare worker? Well, that's part of each sale. On the website, when you go to purchase the mug, as you put it in your cart, you can um, nominate someone. So like a little pop-up window comes up and you can put in their name and their contact information. And so as we draw their name, we announce it on our stories and Instagram, um, and then we'll reach out to them and like, you know, get their address and ship it out to them. While designing is Camp's favorite part of the job, the reaction to these mugs has been a close second with thank you notes and words of encouragement. It's been really fun because I feel like I've gotten a bunch of um, like pictures through email from like healthcare workers holding their mugs up. You know, they're all like decked out in their garb, but they're like, this is like, you know, helping me get through work. One guy was saying he was holding out through this like months of long shifts and he was like holding out till the end to open his package as like something to look forward to. So I thought that was really special. A simple mug made on this potter's wheel and meant to hold a cup of coffee has recipients holding on to a little bit more hope through their morning routine, even when life has been far from routine lately. I feel like it was the slowing down process that kind of inspired this as well. Campfire Pottery's shop has reopened in Portland, but just with limited hours. If you'd like to learn more about the Stay at Home Mug Project, you can head to the 207 section of our website and our mobile app. And Rob, I am one of those people who found a sense of peace in coffee during quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. I, as you know, I don't drink coffee, but my wife's coffee consumption went up considerably. So yeah, uh, having, a, having the right mug and the right beverage got a lot of people through it. It really did. <laughs>